Good morning everyone. Um, it is Friday the 26th of June and welcome again as we come together to read from the Psalms. This morning we're going to read Psalm 11 together. So let's hear God's word. I trust in the Lord for protection. So why do you say to me, fly like a bird to the mountains for safety? The wicked are stringing their bows and fitting their arrows on the bowstrings. They shoot from the shadows at those whose hearts are right. The foundations of law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do? But the Lord is still in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. He watches over everyone closely and examines every person on earth. The Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked. He hates those who love violence. He will rain down burning coals and burning sulphur on the wicked punishing them with scorching winds. For the righteous Lord loves justice, the virtuous will see his face. Amen. Another psalm written from probably a time of trouble. Um, it seems to be at the start of the psalm that David, because it's his credit to David, his, his people are telling, his advisors are telling him to run away, maybe from some trouble that's going on. It's what it says in verse 1, fly like a bird to the mountains for safety. But David says that even when foundations collapse, verse 3, what do we do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. It's a reminder of where do we find our strength? Where do we, who do we rely upon? Who do we turn to in times of trouble? Do we look to ourselves and do we look to the things that we can do or do we turn to God and rely upon him whenever things are difficult? Again the psalm brings a warning that there's judgment upon those who turn their back upon God but that God is there for us and he just wants us to turn to him. It says the Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked. He looks at us all. We are all called to account um, scary thoughts sometimes, isn't it? When we think about God and his power and his might and having to stand before him and give an account. But God is good. God is gracious and God loves us. And that's what comes through again in that psalm. David just trying to express something um, of calm, something of where his strength comes from, just to reassure those who are so nervous, so fearful around him. And we're the same. You know, there's there's so many things we get caught up in, so many earthly things. Um, whenever we need to remember that ultimately God is in control and that's what matters. What well, a little thought for a Friday morning. PCI have asked us to pray for our churches in particular this morning. Um, to start and pray for all our sessions as sessions start to work through what it means to open the churches again, what it means to put the right measures in place for safety. But also whenever the time does come for us to meet again and we're back in church, for all of us to be responsible, for us to play our parts um, and do what we are called to do and to support one another. So as we think about the fact that God is in control, that whenever there's times of trouble, that's who we should run to. Let's just pray about that this morning. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you again for how relevant it seems to, to us today, even though it was written long ago. Lord, help us whenever things around us are falling down and crumbling, whenever things are coming in on top of us. Help us to find our strength, our refuge in you. Help us to turn to you for that shelter, for the encouragement, for protection, knowing that you are ultimately in control. And Lord, may that give us strength, may it give us joy, may it give us hope to keep on going. Father, we pray for our churches and for our sessions. Um, over these next few days as decisions start to be made about churches and opening as measures are put in place to keep people safe for that happening help us to be wise help us to be sensible 
that would help us to remember again that church is not the building, but the church is the people. And that would help us to, to remember that we don't find you in a building, but we find you simply dwelling in our hearts through your Holy Spirit, and that we are connected to you through that. And that there's so many different ways that we can connect with one another. So Lord, just help us to walk this road carefully, sensitively, um, in a way that shows responsibility, in a way that shows those around us who don't know you, just that we do really care about people and we love them because you love them. And help us to be able to do that in a way which shows people that and which draws people onto you. Lord, thank you that again it's Friday. Lord, help us just this day to, to live for you. Thank you again for your goodness, for your blessing, for your provision. And Lord, we ask today that you would look after us and care for us and keep us safe. So Father, thank you. We commit this day to you and ask for your blessing now and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks folks for joining with me this morning. Just a simple psalm, but a psalm which can reassure us in these days whenever we are fearful for what is going on. Um, I just know that God is with us. So may God bless you today. Uh, may you stay safe and may you have a good weekend. Uh, remember, I'm not streaming tomorrow morning. I'll be back again on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock to stream our service. So take care. God bless. See you Sunday.